hello channel what's good y'all okay so i have kind of been off usually i would post every day but i haven't been recently um if you're new here like and subscribe this is a cool channel that talks about jesus christ your life and worships and praises you'll see me and my daughter kaya we are his little daughters who are on earth ready to do his will on his timing on his bidding wanting him we may not be perfect we may sin we may fall but we stand back up in his name knowing that it is our god who makes us holy and who allows us to be able to be redeemed and live the life the way he wants us to instead of living in the sins that we are now ashamed of as becometh children of god we all know right that when we first come to Christ, we have sins and we are encouraged. We are commanded to bear our cross and follow Christ. Even in the hard times when temptation is around and we may be ostracized by the world because our holiness is something that is weird to them because they have not understood God because they are foolish. It says fools... A fool says there is no God. That is in scriptures. And the world live deeply in sin. And when we come in holiness, it's unfamiliar. And therefore, we are different. However, from our difference, we become like a lamp. We become like a candle, a light that shines and lighteth up the whole house. That whoever's in the house can see. That maybe from our lives, someone can be saved. Someone can come to heaven because they see Jesus in our life and because he uses us as, as the reflection of his image. He uses us as his children to show forth his praise unto the nations, unto the heathen, unto the places where he is not respected, where he is not honored, where he is not praised, where he is not believed in. That people from all nations, from the north, east, west, and south, may come to him because he has come not just for the Jewish Jews to be saved, but for people from all nations to be saved. Okay, because listen, I have a lot to work on, but one thing you will not catch me lacking on this Father's Day is going to the Holy Father. Going to the Holy Father. Look at Boba, she's awake. Hey. I can't stop. My life can't stop here. People can bring me down. People can leave me. People can cheat on me. All that. You know, my whatever can cheat on me. All that. We pray against that in Jesus' name. That the Lord's love will be in their hearts. And people will be born again and saved. That the Lord will help people come to Him and remain in Him. That we will abide in Him and taste the fruit of His word. Taste the sweetness of His glory. But listen to me, you guys. We mustn't ever think this world as our home. We have a home in Him. We have a place in the Father. It says, in the Father's house there are many mansions. Though this world may seem uncomfortable, we will live in this world in the Holy Spirit, glorifying His name, understanding that our will be done, but may His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I pray for the fatherless today. I pray for those whose fathers are out somewhere. I pray that God will be their father today. That they will give God the glory for being a father to them. That they will have a deep relationship with the, with God and come in a place where they are in, in Him and not away from Him. In Him and not chasing the things of the world, but abiding in His glory and His spirit. Not letting the devil come in in sneaky ways as false light being in our minds, but having the mind of Christ and seeing that Jesus is truly the one and only God, and in Him only do we desire to make our habitation in. In Him only do we desire to live our lives in. Hallelujah. So, 
And for those who do have fathers, I also want to pray that the fathers and the husbands will be those that are God-glorifying, not fearing man and not desiring the things of the world, but having the love of God and not the love of the world within them, that they may be fathers who bring up children, right, in the Lord, in sanct being in sanctification and understanding the things that are above not being blinded, but seeing in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that the Lord, the hand of God will come upon the fathers today, come upon the families today in the name of Jesus, all over the world in Jesus' name, that the hand of the Lord will be there, be present, and He will glorify His name, and that He will make our His abode in us, that we will live in Him, that we will fear nothing in Jesus' name, that we will put nothing above our God, we must respect people. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that we will have a fear of God. The Lord, you even teach me, have a fear of God. That we will love God. And we will see Him as the Mighty One. Right? It says in King James Version, Mighty and Terrible. Terrible is meaning He is the greatest. Right? We fear Him. He's the greatest. He is the one who can kill the body and, cat and destroy the soul in hell. No man can do both. So I pray, Holy Father, in Jesus' name, that you would bring an infilling of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. And to all the families all across the world, that you will save all. I pray you just save everyone. And if one does not receive you, that you will give them a tender heart to follow your name. And you will clear every lying voice out of our ears in Jesus' name. That you will bring prayer warriors in, out of the men. Prayer warriors out of the women. Prayer warriors out of the children in Jesus' name. June is not LGBTQ month. Cancel that now in Jesus' name. I pray that gay people come to Christ today and be healed and restored. Because Jesus have a love for you that your partner, that your gay partner, that your transgender, LGBTQ plus people cannot have and will never be able to give you. Because there is no true love in them. They may say they do. But just because a person says something does not necessarily mean it's true. And in this case, it's absolutely not true. I pray that you experience the love of God. That you will love every part of your body. That you will accept your gender with full joy and acceptance. And that you will live out this life as either a man or a woman. And rejoice in the salvation and the love and the non-judgmental, unconditional love of Jesus now. I pray this now in Jesus' name. Because, listen... You say that you, you, you don't like judgmental people, but you're judging yourself every day. Even though God made you a female, and you've been thinking with the hormones of a female, you've been having menstruation all day, you're saying that you're a man. You're judging yourself. You rejected yourself. And that's why we have to come to acceptance and peace and knowledge of the truth. It's possible. I was uncomfortable. I dealt with homosexual feelings. I dealt with a lot of things. But God helped me. Because he's God. And any person in LGBTQ says, oh, it's impossible? They're lying. They obviously don't know who God is. So why would you let someone who don't know what they're talking about lead you astray into deeper years of sin? Like, instead, be free in Jesus' name. It's possible because he loves you. I just said God has a place for you. And I'm being the mouthpiece of God right now in your life. So either you're going to chill out and just follow Christ... Or you're going to have to deal with deal with the punishments of not accepting yourself and the gender God has given you, and then living in the confusion and doubt and the and and the curses that come with just being whoever you want under the sun God has made under the uh, world and and life God has made for you to feel comfortable in you. Right? To feel comfortable in you is not denying everything about you and then putting on makeup and putting on drag. No. To be comfortable in you is to go out outside. Not having to do surgical destruction to your body. Not having to do all these different things. But to just simply be at peace. In love with the function of the body that God has given you. That you could be married and have kids, y'all. You don't see something wrong like man, man, woman, woman don't have kids? Kids are called a gift of God? Do you not see that? Come on, we got to see this. We got to see this. And this is not being not chill. This is called being truthful. 
Because you can act like you, you don't know the truth, but the only reason why you're going to trans surgery is because you do have a female body. So listen, there's freedom now. I pray against every demonic tongues coming against this podcast. Every demonic tongues coming against your life. Um, I pray that many thousands and millions of LGBTQ people come to Christ in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Happy Father's Day. Say hi. When you guys decide to obey God and ask God to help change you, no matter if that struggle will take one month or year or years, you can have your own little child in a marriage God blessed you with.